Did you feel a little pain? Ended up getting an MRI and found out you have a nerve tumor and are desperate and found this video? Well, you know what they say, seek and you shall find. <music> Folks, schwannomas and neurofibromas are nerve tumors. Usually the patient discovers it because they either feel a shock or notice a small tumor somewhere on their leg or arm. Or they even undergo an exam and then find this lesion. Despite the name sounding quite intimidating like schwannoma, neurofibroma, 99%. Of the time, they are benign tumors. And now, with this video, from this point on, you will understand everything about the treatment of a benign nerve tumor. First of all, I say benign tumor, and you need to be sure that it is indeed a benign tumor. Everything we are going to discuss here is for a benign tumor, understand that. A tumor that will not metastasize, will not spread throughout the body, and will not require you to undergo chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Why? Because if it is a malignant tumor, an aggressive tumor that is, on the MRI, you see that it is a tumor that spreads, that is already metastasizing, it is not a schwannoma nor a benign neurofibroma. These are malignant tumors, and the one who will treat them is not the peripheral nerve specialist, but the oncologist and the surgical oncologist. In one of the types of tumor that is, the malignant one, you have to remove everything. We are not going to talk about preserving the function of your nerve, we are going to talk about cure, the chance of cure rate. The lesion must be completely removed. In the case of schwannoma and benign neurofibroma, here, the priority is not to completely remove the lesion, but rather to preserve the function of your nerve. So, pay attention until the end, because here you will learn all the information that the oncologist you visited didn't tell you about your lesion. Benign. Folks, schwannoma and neurofibroma are tumors that grow from the nerve sheath. Precisely because they grow from the nerve sheath, they do not affect the nerve itself. Therefore, you have a tumor that is sometimes even large because you took a long time to find it. However, the movement of your leg, hand and arm are great because they were not affected. And precisely because it does not cause metastasis or pose a life risk and your nerve function is good, we need to maintain the function. So, the peripheral nerve surgery for the tumor must be performed through microsurgery. That is, with a microscope, with a magnifying glass. And with materials that allow us to monitor your nerves so that we only remove the tumor and the nerve remains preserved. For this, we use a nerve stimulator. It is a material that gives a small shock to your nerve to see that you have movement near that region of the tumor. This allows us to remove the tumor by stimulating it and ensuring that no important part of your nerve passes through there. So, having a nerve stimulator is extremely important. If you are planning to have surgery and you ask your doctor, doctor, are you going to use a nerve stimulator? And if he says no, be cautious. Why? How can you be sure you are removing the tumor and not a piece of the nerve if you don't have a stimulator? This is extremely important. And I see many patients who have nerve damage during tumor removal, and it is much more difficult to treat the sequelae of this nerve damage than to safely remove the tumor while preserving its function. Don't make a mistake in the first surgery. Find a good specialist who understands the subject. Well then, I scheduled my surgery, found a good specialist whom I trust, and I am going to undergo the procedure. How is it performed? First of all, it is performed under general anesthesia. Since it is a very delicate surgery, it cannot be done with local anesthesia. Can you imagine being there, undergoing the surgery? Doctor, is it over already? And you move your arm, move your leg, and end up injuring your nerve? No. It is a surgery where we must preserve function and not take risks. So, it is a surgery under general anesthesia. And you either get discharged the same day, or you stay in the hospital for one day and then you will need to use medications for post-operative pain and antibiotics. Right after the surgery, there is something extremely important that some doctors end up forgetting. It is the following. Move as much as possible. Understand that it is not a bone surgery where you place a plate and a screw and the bone has to stay still to heal. No, in nerve surgery, we want movement in the post-operative period. By moving, you will not feel shocks, will not have adhesions, and will not experience pain. So the more you move and perform myofascial release, the better your nerve surgery outcome will be. Oh doctor, I don't wanna have surgery. When do we contraindicate surgery? And the treatment is to not undergo treatment. 
In the following cases, if the tumor is not growing over time, if you do not have pain, do not have loss of sensation, and do not have loss of strength. In other words, if you find a tumor that doesn't bother you and it is not growing, meaning there is no risk of it being a more aggressive tumor, then there is no need for surgery, just follow up. Initially, we request exams every six months. Then, we move to once a year, and later every three to five years if the lesion is not growing. If by chance it starts to grow, cause pain, or any symptom that bothers you, then we proceed to surgery. So, were you desperate before watching this video and now that you've seen it, did you understand, like my content, and feel more at ease? Then please like the video and follow our channel for more information.